Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Thursday. So today, as you can see, we have the 35 out. Um, first time out this year. Um, and you will also notice we are in a field um, sprayed off. It's had the muck put on. This is gonna be this year's fodder beet crop. So we have just come out with the 35. And you may remember last autumn, um, we purchased a Ferguson subsoiler. And during that video, I said, hopefully in the spring, we can get it out and have a little play with it. So today we have hitched it on. And what we are gonna do, or gonna try to do, so this little area here was a muck heap. Um, so in the winter, while we were cleaning out the loose yards, and um, brought it up, stacked it up. And that is what got spread out, uh, spread out on Friday. So we spread this out good Friday. Today is Easter Monday. Um, so we're just having a little couple of hours to play. Um, because it is a bank holiday. So plan of attack is just to pull through this dung heap. So it's going to be a little bit compacted where this muck was standing, um, partly because we drove here a lot tipping up and equally you can see a lot of wheelings where we were loading, loading it out to spread it. So that's the plan, just going to run through this little bit. Uh, there's no need to do the whole field, uh, but probably we will run up and do the headlands as well, or where we're going to be turning. And because this was fodder beet uh, quite a while back now, long way before we had YouTube, when we were harvesting we turned on the headlands, so we're just going to pull that, any compaction that might be there, pull it out. So we're in a big field that we have, for this year we're going to cut it in half, you can see that side uh, is, is still grass, this side was grazed uh, and then sprayed off. But you may remember earlier in the spring we did actually do a video of putting some slurry on this, ready for the ready for the fodder beet um, and a comment on that video said you know, will you get time to graze it before you spray it off and yes we did so we've grazed the whole field um, sprayed off along this line uh, and once we're ploughed and drilled we will fence obviously we are then going to fence um, and then before the cows come back out obviously we're going to run a fence line down here because um, this will be carried on grazing for the summer uh, and then this will be ploughed shortly um, ready for the fodder beet. So let's get on. So subsoiler very simple nothing to it really just a leg with a point on and the disc to cut the uh, cut the root for the for the leg to run in. Um, disc is protected by springs um, and this up here just in case just in case it would have clout a stone or something it would um, rise up on these slots and uh, you know lift the disc up out of the way. So I was quite surprised we've greased the disc so, um, so there's a grease nipple on the disc bearing and another one on the front here where to give the disc a little bit of angle not a great deal. Um, both of those nipples took grease which was a bit of a surprise so that's it there's no there's nothing else to do we'll just get them put them in the ground and um, and subsoil I guess won't we?
okay so there we go as you can see we have pulled through dung heap it was very it was yeah uh, and pretty hard going i have to say um struggling for traction all the time more than uh, more than anything else just a little bit damp on the top um especially along there where the, the dung is still a little bit thick um this is why they invented diff locks but um that tractor is too old to have one anyway um there we go so we have got our got pulled through the dung heap we have done the headland um that's about it so we're not going to uh not going to do the whole thing uh, it doesn't need it so just this little there's just these little couple of bits that wanted it so i think that will do um, nice to get out and have a little play with our subsoiler i'm um, just going to have a look um, so yeah so like i said at the start uh, never used it before seems to work okay um it's kind of you know not a lot it can do really is there it does what it has to do it wasn't really going terribly deep and um, we kind of see kind of that deep so you know a bit below plow level is all we need to do really so there we go i think we'll call that a, a successful trial run um it's one of them things you know i wanted it wanted it in the collection to to have it more than use it um, but i do like to give things a go once we get them and um and we've certainly done that today so hopefully a bit more of this a bit more of the 35 will be coming up in the next month or so um drilling beat and one thing and another so subscribe and comment and thumbs up and all that um, and don't forget there'll be a we do the um kind of the guest end video thingy for the vintage thursday um so if you've got a video on youtube that you want to feature to get featured uh, send me an email um, with a link to that video that you want um, it has to be a youtube video it, i have had a clip of two sent to me of just somebody's tractor which is nice to see um, but i can't use it because i need to have a youtube link to put it you know in the little thingy so if you've got one of them you want to get featured send that along um, and i will say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time